Hello, my people. It's your Redneck from Texas, Nate. We are here to actually go over a review today, and that is of the Alice in Chains Dirt Super Deluxe Box Set. Now, you guys saw I got this in a couple weeks ago, you know, and you can hear that. Yeah, there's actual real dirt inside of here, um, and it's cool. And so we wanted to kind of go over this box set. This is one of my favorite albums of all time. So you guys knew I had to go out. Wow. All the way out and get the best version I could. So we're just going to dive into it. One piece at a time. Okay. So you got. This is. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. First up, we have the little uh, statuette, you know, in here. We can go and take it out. And it's cool they have like a little push thing in the back. So you're not trying to like jimmy it out. Okay, and this is heavy. It's like a bronze little statuette. That way you can mimic the scene if you want to. Okay, put that aside. Okay, first up. Let's get this little envelope. These envelopes are notorious for breaking because of just they don't they're not made of the best thing, best materials. So they typically do fall apart eventually. So you got what is a a badge. Uh, we got some press photos, press photo of all of them. You got a set list. And then you've got some, some multiple um, of these old flyers like you would see for the concerts. You know, this one. Being, of course, Masters of Circus, Master of Reality, Circus of Power. Um, yeah, Ticket to G.I. Joe and Ticketmaster. This goes back, way back. Okay. Alice in Chains, September 17th. It's cool to get these old re repro. I love seeing this stuff. Alice in Chains, Mookie Blaylock, huh? Who would end up? Who would become Pearl Jam? Mookie Blaylock, for, formerly of Mother Love Bone. Eight dollar, eight dollar tickets. I feel, man, you can't get that if you saved your life on it now. And another one with Mookie Blaylock as well. Formerly a Mother Love Bow. This is $5. Advanced tickets, $6 at the door. All right, that's it for that one. Okay, then we have a smaller one here. All right. And these are various drawings done to each songs. So you have Alone by Cody Mellick. And it's got the actual background. Dull Boy by Victor Melendez. Sun Eater by Eric Wolf Salstein. And my favorite, The Rooster by Brent McKee, colored by Rico Renzi. All right. Then you get The Big Boy. big cover there and then on the back side you get the alternate with the band okay all right you 
get the actual bite to the bite on that. There's the front. There's the back. You do have an insert. It's the same insert in every version of dirt that I've seen, other than like the overseas ones, because the language might be different. And it's ironically because you have all the songs on it too. Okay. So you've got the first vinyl, and these are colored vinyl, exclusive. By the edge or by the middle, folks. Protect your vinyl. And this is 180 gram uh, strength. So that means it's a lot thicker than your standard 120 or 140. So, definitely. They did good with this one. Um, and I heard it sound, you know, I heard this version sounds really good. The one I got from Walmart sounded a little loud. And I'm not just in the meaning of loud, like um, it's loud music. It's just sometimes the music outshine the actual um, vocals. So that means it, it wasn't set properly. And that does happen. It all depends on how it's remastered and cut, folks. That's how it goes. Now, what's the cost of this set? Well, you had to pre-order this a year and a half ago to get it at 200 bucks. That's 200 bucks. Now, the most recent version I saw for sale is over 500. So, you're probably not going to find it. Unless you get lucky on eBay. Sometimes you do. Okay, so we got the hardcover book. So we'll just go through some of this real fast. Got, of course, you got the design, the norm, the one everybody knows. Dirt. And no, it's not Joe Dirt. It's the best. One of my, it's my favorite from Alice in Chains. You know, it's not everybody's, and I get that. So what it is, is they break down, you know, from everybody else's perspectives. Like, what did this album do for them? You know, you got people like Lars Ulrich, you know, in here. You've got the different songs with the lyrics as well. You've got some of the regular artists, as some of the photography that was done. Okay, you've got... Uh, Philip Anselmo from Pantera and Dearest Frieden from In Flames. Damn that river. Okay. Uh, you've got Rob Halford, of course, from Juice Priest fame. Another one from the actual band. And that's how, that's how this book is. Um, yeah. This you call my name. Uh, from Dallas Green, from City and Color. Okay. Down in a hole. And like Zach Wild. So, I'm not going to do the whole book because I want to leave some for you guys to see if you do get this set. But I highly recommend this set if you, if you can get it. This is, like I said, the coffee book or coffee table book, as they're called. Okay, you also get a CD. So, if you don't want to mess up the record, you want, don't want to listen to that, you can listen to the actual CD. And it's an old school kind. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there. 
But there's a little bit of the picture of the girl in there. It's kind of cool how they did that. Okay, last but not least for the set, we did get some singles as well that was exclusive to the set. This was the reason a lot of people wanted it, because it was the singles. So you've got Down in a Hole and the lyrics. So between the book, the lyrics, and the vinyl, and on here, there's no reason why you shouldn't have this. They have the lyrics. They know how to sing the song. So we have clear. And these are one song singles. So there is no B-sides for these. Okay. You got Rooster. This one's in yellow. I love how they do the designs on the back. They put all of it on the front, design on the back. That makes it special. Versus just a colored vinyl, it just sits there. Angry chair. Yeah, I liked it. And let's see, we got them bones with the skull in the front. With the eye. Now there's one more set like this that Alice in Chains has put out, and that was the first one from Facelift um, that I wanted to get. So we got wood. And it's on red. And it's the sun. And if, if you've been paying attention, the back designs match these right here of the, of the actual singles. So that's kind of a cool touch they did to it. The symbols are the same. And that is it. That's everything for this set, folks. Um, is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth the set. It's worth buying. If you can get it at a good price, my folks, don't hesitate to buy this set. Because... Um, 30 years of dirt that tells you how good this album has been and what it did to everything now ironically you start thinking about it a minute it is 2023 folks 30 years of that so we're talking 1992 you know is when this set came out so now it's just waiting to see what's going to be next are they going to bring out three-legged dog uh, or tripod, or just Alice in Chains, or we're going to get the unplugged box set. We never know. But I will tell you this, it's worth it. Go buy it if you can find it. And if you can't find it, just keep an eye out. Put a search up, put a safe search on it in, in eBay or something like that, or on your computer. That way if it sees you pop it up, grab it and snatch it if it's at retail. Um, but would I get $500 for this set? I would, because I'm an Alice in Chains fan. But you might not. So this has been your Red Act from Texas Night. And this was our review of the Alice in Chains uh, Super Deluxe box set of 30 Years of Dirt. Have a good day. I'll see you on the next one. All right, all right, all right.